Come on. Hey! <laughs> Hello, my name is Jokovic, and welcome to episode 2 of my Minecraft 1.16 Let's Play series. Last week we found this beautiful- oh, hello. <laughs> How are you? Do you- can I- can I help you? They're probably friends with my roommate, and he doesn't like me very much, so they're probably not happy with me either. This is my house! Get out! I didn't say you could have your friends over. Come on. Alright. Anyway, we found this village which is cool, and so we didn't really have to build a little hidey hole to live in for the first night. Uh, so that, oh, it's night, okay, I see. As I was saying, last week we found this little village and so we had, so we didn't have to build a hidey hole or anything to live in the first night. We went into the nether and found some of these blocks. It took us forever to find the basalt delta, but uh, got there eventually. And I was, the plan was is to use these blocks for our kind of first base. But I'm starting to rethink it. I think the idea that I that I had would have worked really well with these blocks, but I had a different idea that I think I like better because I did a little bit of exploring and I found this way there is a dark oak forest, which is awesome. I really like the dark oak forest. They're kind of, they have their downsides because well, they're dark, as the name would suggest, and that means that mobs spawn there a bunch. But they're also, they also have this kind of creepy kind of feeling to them. Something like this could... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this right here would work really well, actually. And what I'd probably do is clear out these trees to build it, and then in, not plant the trees back, but build new ones. Because I kind of like this idea of having a build that's really tucked away and the fact that this is just a cliffside essentially is kind of nice because it leaves a lot of room for terraforming and stuff like that so we can get it looking really really pretty like i said i got some of the blocks from the nether off camera but i'll probably need more also i gathered the blocks that i wanted for the the build i was going to do but i kind of changed my mind we'll still be using a lot of the same blocks but a couple of them will have changed for now, let's get back to the base, and we need to start setting some stuff up and getting some stuff together to move. I don't think I know where I'm going. I might pull... Oh! That's cool. That's the first one of those we've run into. Any goodies? Unbreaking 3, Thorns 3, Fire Protection 5. I'm going to take all that. All right, we're back in the village, and what do we need to do first? I think we need to build a new nether portal first. We actually need to get enough obsidian for two nether portals, because sometimes when you try to link them up and you just build one on the overworld, sometimes it doesn't link up right, and you end up just going to your old nether portal in the nether. And we really don't want that. And I wonder what is up here. Oh, okay. Let's go left, because that looks very dangerous. Oh, there's a skeleton. Uh, uh, okay. Please don't hurt me. Uh. Oh, I don't like it. Please don't. Please don't hurt me. Oh, crap. Uh. Okay. Uh. Couldn't get out of here. <laughs> How on earth did I not notice that I was fighting with a torch? I see chests. I see chests of goodies. And a spawner. What kind of spawner is it? Looks like a zombie. That might be good for XP very early on if we can't find a skeleton spawner. But this is actually really cool. I didn't know what I was looking for at it for a second. I was like, why is there a chest on the, just sitting on the ground? Aren't they normally in minecarts? Hello. Stop. Stop. I mean you no harm. Well, that's a, that's a lie. I'm sorry. Ugh. Ugh. Thank you. That scared me. No. Ugh. I don't know why I tried to get him around that way. I think I was trying to avoid the water. There, I hear mobs just falling and walking and, and, and growling and saying terrible things to me. I'm gonna try and kind of sneak around here because if there's a skeleton spawner over here, like, oh God, oh, where did he come from? Where did he come from? <sighs> ah, last episode I was saying zombies were cool. 
I thought we were friends. Okay, cool. The zombie didn't pick up and decide to wear all my all my stuff. Is it was it you? For now we're going to block this off. <laughs> Cuz I'm nervous now. We'll explore more another time, but right now I want to start building. I don't even really know why I came down here. Thought it might be cool, you know. Thought it could be interesting. Maybe some cool loot. I was tempted by greed. All right, let's move. You know what? I'm ready to move. This town is bust. All right, I think I've found a good location to build the house, and it's this right here, this kind of hillside. And we're gonna build the house up on the side of this hill. And then I think we can have farms and stuff in this little valley, which will be really cool. The first thing though is to create a nether portal. So we probably won't put one you know, permanently where it's gonna be, but at least just set one up in this area so that we can get back and forth between our old place and our new place easily. All right, so hopefully this connects back up to the one in the dark oak forest. We'll see. Hey, it does, okay, cool. I'm just widening this out a little bit so we can have kind of cliffs on either side of this coming into this little valley. And at some point I'll terraform these so that they look a little bit more cliff-like because right now they're just dirt and it doesn't look as good as it could. So we'll uh, just clear it away for now and get these farms built. And then when we have the when we have the time, we will terraform and make this look a little bit better. All right, that's looking pretty good. So we got a little bit of farms. We got some wheat here and some carrots here, potatoes here, and of course we'll plant more of those once the ones we have grow up and produce some some crops. And then I think now we just need to get some cows in here. So let's go look for some cows. I found you. Come on, let's go. I would name you, but you're probably gonna get eaten at some point, and that seems cruel. So you will remain nameless. You're gonna love your new house, or your cage, your pen. We'll call it a pen. I need to get some netherite. Oh, he just went. He went through. Okay, <laughs> bye, buddy. <laughs> You're not gonna survive long out there, probably. Don't they turn into? I think they turn into zombified piglins after after a little while. Do the babies do that too? I'm not sure. What I was trying to say was, uh, I need some netherrack for this build we're doing, but. While I'm mining for netherrack, I may as well be looking for for netherite as well. Uh, look at that! Hey, we found some! Two of them! That is so cool. If there's lava above this, I'm gonna be so angry. Look at that! I'm so happy! I didn't think we'd find any. I was just mining here because, you know, there was a possibility of finding some. But I didn't actually expect to. I thought we would be down here a while and get some get some netherrack and that would be it. But that's super cool. We're gonna need a lot more of that if we want to make, you know, tools and stuff with it. But but that's cool. We'll save it up. He got zombified. The poor guy. Alright, goodbye. Okay, so I think we've got most of the materials we need. This might not be enough nether brick, but we'll kind of gather that as we go. And the only other thing I'm waiting on is vines. So I need more mossy cobblestone and mossy stone bricks. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a few more and maybe we'll be able to make, make some more of those, but that's gonna be kind of something we have to do as we go. I also got quite a few more diamonds, as you can see. I went mining, I needed more stone and stuff, so I figured why not mine down at diamond level and try to get some diamonds while I'm at it. And I mined for a couple hours and got and got uh, 32 diamonds. Some of them were, were needed to go into a new, new uh, diamond pickaxe, but that's okay. This isn't gonna be a giant build, but I don't want it to be, you know, super tiny and be cramped. I wanna be able to live there for a little while, but I also don't want it to be huge either and take, forever to build just something to get us really on our feet and started and you know something we have room to put a an enchanting setup and some some real storage and other goodies like that 
All right, so I've got the uh, the trees cleared out of this hillside, and now I'm just going to start laying down the foundations so that we can kind of figure out where everything's going to go. And I'm just going to keep working on this, and then I'll give you a little bit of an update when I have a little bit more done. Well, a creeper blew up my beautiful hillside here. Thankfully, he didn't blow up any of the actual foundation. I don't remember exactly how this was. I guess it doesn't really matter because we're going to be terraforming this anyway. But let's get it looking at least kind of similar to how it was. And I'm out of dirt. Okay. Uh, fine. Anyway, this is the foundation as it is right now. Uh, and, I th and I think... I think it's looking okay. I, it, I may not make a ton of sense right now. There's going to be a door right there. And these two kind of, I don't know, these two kind of jutty out bits here. And then this whole side is going to be rock before it gets to the roof. Well, I'm kind of going for a haunted cottage sort of vibe. Maybe you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. Okay, it's starting to take shape, I think, a little bit. I started to put this roof line in. I think I'm going to do switch these blocks up a little bit so it'll probably be some blackstone and some maybe some polished blackstone and some blackstone bricks as well uh, same with this and I kind of wanted this feeling of the house kind of creeping up the hillside and kind of built into the hillside if you're approaching from this side it might even have this kind of small quaint cottagey kind of feel but then on the other side if you're approaching it from here, it's got this dark kind of towering structure. I think this will probably, what we're standing on right here, will probably be ground level. So I'll probably take some of these trees out and terraform this out a little way so it gently slopes down to there. Because I think this is about as low as I want to be. If you come down too much lower, it's just, well, first of all, the trees are in the way again. But if you come down too much lower then it just starts to be a little bit too vertical. Like you're looking too much up at it. I'm going to keep going on this a little bit further. I did want to... Actually, you know, I might do that now. I think I want to go hunt some Endermen in the Nether because that new... The Warped Fungus Biome has some new... Or not new anything. It, it's just new of itself. And it has a lot of Endermen in it, which is really cool. So we don't have to go hunting through deserts anymore to get Endermen. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to the Nether. We're going to fight some Endermen. Hopefully get a few eyes. Looting would be good on the sword, but right now I just, I'm just i just not ready to get an enchanting setup and all that. So I'm just going to fight them without and hope it goes okay. I can't remember exactly how to get over there. I think it's up this way. Was it... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, this is scary already. Endermen, Endermen are scary. Hello. Well, this biome is actually really big. I, I dug out through this side over here. Yeah, let's get down there. And we should have a, oh, I almost fell right off that. That would not have been nice. Oh, I'm so clumsy. <laughs> Can they even drop the eye if they're holding something else? I feel like they can. Surely they can. But I have none yet. No eyes yet. These vines are super cool. Okay, he dropped the pearl. Beautiful. One down and a bunch more to go. We probably won't even be going to find the stronghold for a few episodes but I just like to be prepared you know and when I do want to go I would like to have what I need to do it instead of being like okay let's go find the fortress or find the find the stronghold and then oh but first we have to go kill a bunch of endermen and all that I would like your pearl sir if they have a pearl does that mean an Enderman is some species of clam? That's definitely the case. I'm convinced of it now. Endermen are clams. Ah! Whoop! <laughs> I love these vines. These are cool. Come on. Hey! <laughs> Come here, you. 
I got my eye on you. You are the tallest clam I've ever seen. This is so much easier than it was before, having to wait around a desert all night. I'm very proud of myself. I thought that would be much more of an ordeal than it was. I figured there would surely I would die somehow. I die so much. We'll probably revisit the village at some point. I would actually I actually had an idea. I want our Fletcher roommate from the old from the village. I would like him to move in with this, so we might ask him about that. He just seemed like such a cool dude. All right, we're continuing work on the base over here and I'm going to try and at least get the kind of just the roof line in place so that you know, so that we can kind of see what's going on and the general shape it will be and what it will look like when it's, you know, a little more finished. Okay, so I think I've got the roof line pretty much figured out and done. It might need a little bit of tweaking. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Kind of got that sag that really old houses get. It might be a little bit too extreme though. I might have to tone that back a little bit. And then if we go around to the other side, you can see we've got the same kind of sag and uh, and everything. The Even down here, the roof line doesn't quite match up as it meets the, the roof line of this section of the house doesn't quite match up perfectly. Just to kind of make it a little bit decrepit and old looking. Uh, we might even tear up the roof a little bit more, and what we're definitely going to do, actually, right now, is replace some of this stone with things like that, so we get that, that same kind of just old, beat-up look. Like, this house really hasn't been taken care of. Okay, I think we've got the walls sufficiently beat up, so I think that's looking pretty cool. Yeah, that looks nice. I think the next step is going to be to put some glass in these windows and I put these little grates down in these little, I don't know, sewer drains or whatever they are. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, but we're, we're going to put something dark behind those just so they really stand out. And then, like I said, put some glass in these windows and start just kind of pulling the outside together. So uh, really bringing in some plants and terraforming a little bit, pulling up the the land up the edges of the house a little bit to really make it feel like the house is planted in the ground and firm there, not like it was just plopped down on the hillside. So we're going to get to that and at least get the outside done. I'm not sure that we'll get to the inside, but I'd like to at least get the outside done and then we'll start working on the uh, inside next episode. Ow. Okay, so I've added in a few things just to make the place look a little bit more lived in and kind of fleshed out some flowers and grass as well as some mushrooms. I would also like to add more of these vines in in a few places. I think that would look really cool. And yeah, next episode, I think we're going to work on the trees a little bit more. I added this tree in. I'm not super happy with it, though, so I'll probably rethink that. And then a little bit more terraforming and adding some more trees and other stuff growing up around the house to really make it feel kind of tucked away and like it's been here just forever. But that is going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching everyone and have a wonderful day.